It is located in Zhejiang, China. The city has the biggest film shooting base in the world. Many big movies and popular dramas were filmed here. There are a number of shooting bays or studios based on different teams. One of the highlights here is the Palace of Ming and Qing Dynasty, Ming Qing Gong Dian. One tip if you are visiting the Heng Dian World Studio, bring along some traditional clothing such as Han Fu. You can order from AliExpress or Taobao as there are many varieties and choices there. There are shops selling Han Fu or renting Han Fu in Heng Dian, but you may not find the one you like and can be quite expensive. The Palace Garden of Ming and Qing Dynasties is one of the most classic scenic spots in Heng Dian Film and Television City. It was at that same size built, based on the Forbidden City, and it is also the largest film and television shooting base in Heng Dian. The interior includes four major architectural series, the Beijing Palace, the Royal Gardens, the King's Gate, the Hutong House, and other landscapes, including Qipan Streets, Tianpu Gallery, and Wenwu Terrace. Remember to visit the palace from left to right, so you won't miss all the excitement. If you have watched the recent hit drama, Yanxi Palace, Yanxi Gonglie, you can really find a lot of familiar shooting scenes here. It looks the same as the Forbidden City in Beijing except fewer people during my visit as it was winter month. The Ming and Qing Dynasty Palace is very huge and you could spend hours walking in this compound. We went in from 9.30 in the morning and came out at around 1.30 in the afternoon. It took us in total about 4 hours to complete. Chan 
虚，仍旧沾。红手让江山，低眉连红颜。祸福无论流转，世间还是。In Hengtian World Studio, there are more than ten studios, and Qing Dynasty Palace is one of the remarkable ones. The origin Qing Palace was built 2,200 years ago, and was burned down, so there is no way we could see the real palace. The replica of Qing Palace is indeed a nice way to go back to history. Qing Dynasty Palace was built in 1997 for a famous director Chen Kaige to shoot the historical blockbuster Jin Ke Ci Qing Wang. Later, many dramas were shot here, and one of the famous one is called Ming Yue Zhuan, The Legend of Ming Yue, which was hit many years ago. Performances in the Qing Palace that are worth seeing. You should check the schedule at the entrance of the door so that you know each timing and won't miss any of them. Sometimes the performances get cancelled due to bad weather. There are indoor and outdoor performances. Is a lot smaller than the palace of Ming and Qing Dynasty, Ming Qing Gongdian. The Qing marriage performance is in the afternoon. It is grand and colorful. <laughs> There are several types of combo tickets for Hongdian World Studios. You should check which studios you want to go and purchase accordingly. Thirty percent discount applies to children and elders above the age of sixty, but proof of ID, passport needed when you purchase your tickets at the counter. This applies to foreigners too. Yeah. <laughs> 
need to show your ID at the entrance of each site. A fingerprint is needed for each entry. Very high tech. Many of the hotels provide the combo ticket too. You can buy from the hotel front desk. Costume renting is also available in Qing Dynasty Palace. The photographer will help to shoot the pictures for you, but only indoor. You will be seated on the dragon chair and have your photos taken. I find it is quite boring since you are not allowed to go outdoor with their costumes. It is indeed a dream to walk in the Qing Dynasty Palace in Hengdian World Studio. Most of China's historical firms and renowned television works are filmed here. I'm glad to have experienced the sensation of traveling back in time within the beautiful Qing style palaces. It looks very different from the ordinary palace that we see. Even if it is a replica, it is still a dream fulfilled. <laughs> Na